to show you guys how I prep chicken breasts for meal prepping or just to have because I absolutely love chicken breasts. Um, and this is a great way to keep it nice and juicy. So as you can see here, sometimes I do it. If you have a little bit more fat in your diet, you can definitely leave the skin on. But if not, remove the skin. But keep the bone in the chicken breast because that is going to keep the breast nice and juicy. So what do you want to make sure you do is pat these nice and dry. So I'm going to wash my hands and I'll show you guys how I prep them. So the first thing I'm going to season the chicken breast with is some gray Celtic sea salt. I find when I use this salt in my cooking, I do not bloat as much. So that's why I love using it. And a little bit of this salt goes a long, long way. There's no need to use too much of it because it's just so, so flavorful. But you're more than welcome to use any salt that you like. The next thing I'm going to be putting in is some black pepper on both. Okay, so for the one without the skin, I'm going to season with garlic powder, some onion powder, some paprika. You can use regular paprika, smoked paprika, whatever you like this way um, i don't get bored of the chicken and you just have two different flavor profiles throughout the week then i'm going to use a little bit of dried basil with any dry herbs i like to put it in my hand and then crumble it between my fingers because these when you do that it releases the oils and the dry herbs and kind of wake it up a little bit and then i'm going to put in some dried italian seasoning the Italian season has all of the oregano, marjoram, thyme, sage, and rosemary. That is so, so delicious. So for the skin on, I like using garlic and onion powder because it's like the staple. Garlic and onion is like a staple in everything I cook because it just adds so much flavor. And then to these breasts, I'm going to add some Herbes de Provence. This has a really nice mixture of thyme, rosemary, basil, parsley, tarragon, marjoram, and lavender. It just has this beautiful aroma and it's so, so delicious on chicken. As you can see the little um, specks of lavender flowers in there. At this point, what I like to do is get my hands in here and season it up. So you can put gloves on if you're a little bit you know you don't like to touch your chicken but again i like to massage the chicken with all of the spices and herbs so you just really get in there and massage it um because i'm doing two different flavor profiles i am going to wash my hand and then massage the other one just because um i want to really maintain the flavor profile in each breast so i'm just going to quickly rub this one in and you can smell that lavender, it smells so good. Okay, so since the chicken breast without the skin is pretty lean, what I like to do is put some ghee on there. You can use butter or you can use oil, whichever you like. So this is about a tablespoon of ghee for each breast. And what I like to do is just spread it on. It is going to melt and run all over. And then for the other one, what I like to do, this is the one with the Herbes de Provence. I like to just take my little spritzer because the skin has fat on it already. And I'm just going to lightly spritz the top of it just so the skin could get nice and crispy and you can um, have like chicken cracklings. So I spritz that and then I'm going to take some fresh lime juice and just squeeze it over. Because this is going to bake in the oven right away, I do not mind squeezing a little bit of lime on it um, because it's going into the oven right away. So I don't have to worry about the acid uh, breaking down the proteins in the chicken and making it all funky. So now I'm going to put this in the oven. Um, I'm gonna be using my Wolfgang Puck pressure oven, but um, if you're putting this in a regular oven, you wanna put it in a 400 degree oven until it is done. This is a probe thermometer. This part goes into the meat and goes into the oven with the tray. 
Um, if you don't have one of these and you have a regular thermometer, this would work. And I would say just make sure and check the chicken breast, depending on the size, 25 to 30 minutes um, into the oven. So you just want to make sure. So if you're using the probe, what I like to do is stick it into the breast about halfway. See, it's kind of kicking up right there. So I know that it's in about halfway or three quarters of the way. Do not touch the bone. When you're putting in your probe, make sure that um, you're not touching the bone because the bone in the chicken can get hot really fast. So it can give you an inaccurate reading. So I'm going to set this to poultry. Oh. Um. So I'm gonna set it to poultry. And then what I like to do is drop the temp with chicken, it must be 165 degrees internal temp, which is recommended by the FDA. But I'm going to put it at 159, or let's leave it at 160. And I'm going to pull it out of the oven once it reaches 160. So that way, once you take the chicken out of the oven, it's going to um, continue to cook. The carryover cooking is what's going to take um, the chicken breast from 160 to 165. Sometimes it can go to 167. But I'm not too worried because the bone in this chicken breast is going to keep it nice and juicy. So we're going to bake these babies off. So this is the chicken right out of the oven. They are beautiful. So you can see it's like chicken cracklings. And this, this is the one without the, uh, the skin. As you can see, it is nice and beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna let it rest for about five minutes, and then I'm going to pull the probe out because what's gonna happen is, if you pull this out right out of the oven, all of the juices um, is going to run out of the chicken. Okay, so let's pull this out. And what you could do is, um, you can cut them and then you can put them into Tupperwares or you can leave them whole and just cut as you go. What or you want to make sure and do is the juices that's in the pan, do not throw it away. Save those juices in a separate little Tupperware. It's going to um, solidify and you can always like pinch off a piece of the juice and put it with your chicken breast to reheat it. Um, that's just a lot of extra flavor that's in the pan. So do not throw it away. That is a lot of flavor and that is juiciness. That's also gonna keep your chicken breast nice and juicy. <music>